Hey guys, welcome back to the Gamer Play. I'm Davey Usher. The game we're playing is Smurf, Rescue, and Gargamel's Castle for the Atari 2600, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Awesome, man. Smurf Rescue and Gargamel's Castle was released in 1982 on the Atari 2600 and ColecoVision. Also, an Intellivision version was planned, but never developed or released. Ah, uh, the objective in this game, the player must brave a series of, of crazy obstacles. There's, it's, it's nothing you've ever seen before. I've never seen anything like these obstacles, man. They're crazy. And we have to rescue Smurfette from Gargamel's castle. So this is uh, the Atari style. We can select options here. You can see skill level going from 1 to 2, 3, 4. Now, if you have two players, you can also set a two-player skill level on 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're going to start off on skill level 1 right now. So you hit the button to start the game. So at the beginning of the game, you kind of heard the opening to the, the Smurf theme song. I don't really know if this is also one of the theme songs from the old Smurf uh, show. I can't really recall. I can't remember. The Smurfs was a very uh, successful television cartoon series that ran from 1981 to 1990. Uh, not to mention the various specials that came out. They were created by a guy known as Peyo, uh, who was a Belgian comics artist. And uh, very successful. This show was a very successful show. And when I was a kid, I used to watch it. Let's get on to the gameplay now. I'm moving back and forth, of course. Okay, that makes sense. There's a house. What is that supposed to be? Smurf Village? Hey, everyone, remember Smurf Village? Doesn't look like it can enter. So you can see the bar on the uh, top of the screen. It's running down. That is not a good thing. In fact, let's demonstrate what happens to me when, uh, when that bar runs out. As you can see, I can also duck. We'll get on to more of the controls of this game in just a second. Uh-oh, ticking. What's gonna happen? Oh, I died. I lost a life. Well, if you can't figure out that you're supposed to go from the left to the right in that amount of time, then you are an idiot. Okie dokie. Uh-oh, a fence. Hmm. I can... I can get by this thing. Okay. Oh, no, I walked into the fence. I died. Okay, so I... I gotta have a jump button. Oh, I hit up. I'm trying to hit the button, but it didn't work. You can duck and you can jump. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys right now, and this is pretty hard to explain, but the controls in this game is tricky fucking dicky, man. It's a pain in the ass, and at first when I popped this baby in and I was playing it to test it and see, uh, hey, maybe I'll do a gamer play of this game, at first it baffled me and I couldn't figure it out. A fucking 20-ish year old game, I couldn't figure out. I didn't know what to fucking do. I could not get over the fence. It took me like five minutes to figure out how to get over that fence. Okay, because you see, you hit the up button, and what do you do? You jump straight up. So how the hell am I supposed to... Oh, well, I guess you hit up and forward at the same time, right? Okay. I can't... I can't clear it! Okay, I, I'll, I'll just move a little closer. Oh, fuck! Okay, okay, I'll move close enough, but not too close. All right, ready? No, no, I can't. Oh, God damn it. I can't do it. You can't do it. It starts fucking pissing you off, man. This game has horrible controls. We're going to try one more time, though. Unless you have an instruction manual handy, which could help, this, uh, this is not an easy game to figure out. You can't clear the bench. You can't clear it. Okay, so we've established how to jump. You hit press. You, you press the up button. If you press up and uh, right or left, you kind of jump at, a, at uh, an angle here. But you can't clear the bench. You see, you don't jump far enough. So what do you do? Okay, folks, here it is. Here's the secret of the jumping attack. You hit up, and then you hit up again right away. You can actually kind of let go for about half a second and wait. And you'll do a super jump. A super smurf jump. That's how you clear the fucking bench. Do you believe that? Wow, that's a crazy first obstacle. So now that we know... Well, that's it. That's all the, uh, the gameplay, really. We can continue on. Okay. Water. Don't walk in the water. So we jump over this. We're walking along. Okay, you have to jump over the stairs, or else you die. That's right, folks. So you do a series of jumps, you clear those hurdles there. Oh, shit. Now, don't walk down the stairs, because if you walk down the stairs, you die, too. And it looks like we have a spider here. 
Don't touch the spider or you fucking die. That's just great. This is on easy level, folks. Enough dicking around here. I'll show you how uh, Dave can kick some ass at this game, actually. Once you get the hang of the stupid controls, it's a real breeze. And actually, this is one of the easiest games ever created. It really is. But the fact that it's so easy and has such horrible controls and it actually takes you a couple minutes to figure out is just kind of a, a really weird combination. It's like a, it's a combo of easy and hard. It's like an oxymoron. That's what this game is. A fucking oxymoron. Don't touch the spider. Be patient. Do the jump. You gotta, you gotta position yourself so you know you don't fall in the middle or the edge of one of these steps because that'll cost you a life. And actually, instead of walking from the left to right, doing the super jump just pretty much all the time is the better way to travel. It takes less time, so you just hit up, up, again. Okay, now, coming up to Smurfette here, doing the super jump can actually get you in some trouble here. You gotta kind of back up, maybe. There you go, Smurfette. I've come to free you. That's great, man. What, what kind of castle is this? What is this? So that's it, folks, right there. That's the whole game. It restarts, and the game gets a little harder. And actually, they're gonna throw you a couple curveballs you weren't expecting on the second go-ahead. By the way, where the fuck is Gargamel? That's his castle, right? Gargamel isn't in the fucking game. He's in the fucking title. Holy God, it's it's coming right at me! Ah! Ah! I can't stop! Of course, you can always go back and he'll go away. Look at that. Look at how slow that fucker's going. So you jump over the fucking bird, you come back to the screen again, actually, and you have to do it again. And as we keep on progressing, we come across a snake here. Pretty easily avoidable, I would say. Let's look at the graphics a quick sec here. If uh, you're familiar with this, uh, with this game and, and played, or have at least seen both versions, Yep, the, the duck comes in handy a little bit. I think he turns around. No, he doesn't. He should respawn from the right side. There he is. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about the graphics. Um, the ColecoVision version actually looks a lot better than the Atari version. But it is the Atari version. What can you do? I wonder which Smurf I'm supposed to be right now. It's definitely not Papa Smurf, right, folks? Papa Smurf had that fucking uh, red hat, right? Papa Smurf was also kind of the, uh, the the leader or the you know the elder of the Smurfs, kind of the one in charge, giving out all the orders. There was a lot of controversy, uh, political controversy, when it came to the Smurfs. Oh yeah, and the last obstacle, the bat. Oh, I fucking I fell off the fucking thing. You can actually do a small jump onto this bench here. So he comes down. Yeah, there was a lot of political controversy when it came to the Smurfs. Um, you know, a cooperative and sharing environment based on that each Smurf has something uh, he or she is good at and can contribute to the, you know, Smurf society. It's kind of like communism, right? Oh, there was a bunch of communism-type jokes uh, that that went the, the Smurf's way, but uh, I, don't think the, I don't think the Smurfs are communists. So right now, uh, we're, we're going through the level again, as you can see. Whoa! That bird is a little quicker. Bird is a little more fast. Let's talk a little bit more about Papa Smurf. Did you know that the voice actor who played Papa Smurf, his name was Don Messick, and he uh, also played a lot of other famous uh, cartoon voices? Remember Boo Boo from Yogi Bear? Or Bam Bam from uh, the Flintstones. What about Scooby Doo, the original Scooby Doo, and Scrappy Doo from the uh, Scooby Doo shows? Not to mention, uh, you know, various uh, Transformer uh, characters from the uh, original Transformer series. And those are just to name a few. Oh fuck! Ooh, that was close. Yeah, that's just to name a few. But uh, that Don Messick guy—he was a pretty famous voice actor. God damn it! Oh, okay. This fucking raven or whatever is tripping me up. Oh, that's not good. Whoa! Yeah, the duck can come in handy. Oh, shit! He tricked me! Okay, we're having some trouble here. Oh, God. Okay, I couldn't get by him. I couldn't get... Wow, the game gets a lot harder. 
Ahead of time, though, I was practicing, and I, I got pretty far considering uh, this stupid game. But I got, yeah, I got pretty far. So we're dead. Let's see if we can get through one, uh, one attempt real fast. And on the next part, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, how crazy setting the difficulty levels can be. But it's, a, it's too bad that, you know, this, this game really couldn't offer anymore. It's actually, it's really ridiculous. Really. I mean, okay. We have a series of ox obstacles, and that's fine and all, but you can't throw in anything else. You just have to loop it. I mean, how much work would it take for them to put in several different levels? Okay, this could be level one. This whole, this whole little thing, well, except for the Smurfette part, that would probably reserve for the end of the game. But you can't put, like, several different, different levels of jumping and obstacles. You can't do that, you fucking lazy asses. Anyway, guys, I'm Dave the Usher for the Gamer Play. Stay tuned for the next part of Smurf Rescue and Gargamel's Castle. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.